So today I went to an estate sale. So to get started, they had some handmade jewelry that wasn't priced, but they said, oh, if you wanted any, they'd have to hold it off the side to see how much um, the sister of this brother would want for that jewelry at the estate sale. And I'm like, yeah, that ain't worth it because you're sitting there waiting for the sister to price something and it might be higher than what you're willing to pay. So I went and tried to get to look over at the Native American jewelry, but there was an elderly woman sitting there, as I would say, hogging over and wouldn't let anyone over there. So I couldn't get over there so easy. So I had to literally stretch to look at the Native American rings. <coughs> and what startled me was they wanted quite a bit of money. They knew somewhere were signed. Now here's what I'm going to tell you all what they said. They told one lady, oh, these sell for well over $100 on eBay. So I'm like, you price them according to what they're being listed for on eBay. And the way it sounds, that's what he did with the jewelry. So there was an antique cameo there. They wanted 150 bucks. The Native American made cuffs. Mind you, a uh, family ran a state, so they wanted $150 each. Some of the rings were like sixty dollars to sixty-five. <coughs> so I only got this one because the stone was nice and big. So that's what I paid for it. I don't know if I paid too much. So um, this is what they sold it as was sterling antique. They think it's from the late eighteen hundreds. I really don't know that, but this is um. Native American made. So that would classify this as old pawn. It is not marked in any way. So um, now something that caught my eye at the state sale that I remembered from Dr. Lori Verderan's YouTube channel, what she said, it came in pairs. And it was Japanese Chinese. So they had a big tall one. There was only one there. There wasn't a mate to that like it should have. Like she says in her channel. <coughs> and guess what they wanted for that single one alone? A thousand dollars. And then there was a Satsuma vase. They wanted $75 for it. And they had a little end table. And they had a book with it. And guess what they wanted for that as well? $1,000. Yeah. They had tons of books laying around. Oh, gosh, lots of junk. They had a mink fur coat there. I didn't bother looking at it because I was afraid... After I seen how high the prices were, oh my gosh. I didn't want to bother looking at it because I was afraid, oh yeah, they're going to want a fortune away. So he wanted $800 for the mink coat he told another guy. I'm like, Jesus. So yeah, the, this estate sale is going on today, Friday, February 18th. The 19th is going on and the 20th. And they said, whatever doesn't sell, they're just going to keep a hold of it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like, wouldn't you want to try selling them cuffs? Like, I hate to say it, like, mark them down from 150 to, like, I hate to say it, 60, 75 bucks. They'll sell. I'm sure. Mark down your rings to $20 a pop. They'll sell fast. You know, but, you know, that's just my opinion. <laughs> you know, you, you really can't say that when you're at an estate sale like that. But, yeah. So, when I paid for this, they were like, 
what, you're only getting the ring? And I'm like, yeah. Because I didn't want to say that. I seen too much high price. So I'm like, so I kept that to myself there because I didn't want to upset the family running it. So someone was handing numbers out at the state cell while we were all waiting in our cars. That was not part of the family. And I guess one of the family got mad that there was numbers handed and he said no numbers because that's what I remember he said in the Craigslist ad was no numbers will be given. <coughs> so they just let it, everyone in the house at once and, and it was so crowded. I mean, yeah. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. And don't forget to like, comment, and share channels. It would help get my channel out there to people that just don't know about it yet. Right now I got more people that are not subscribed watching the YouTube channel, so why not subscribe and continue watching more of my content? If you're already subscribed to the YouTube channel, don't forget to hit the big bell for notifications for future content that I put out. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.